All right, we've waited. Uh, TN is down at 350, so we can go now. Turn APU on. Hit. AF control on. External cooling off. Using onboard O2. And we're rolling. I'm going to manually fly or manually take off and turn to a heading of 65 degrees. And then we'll activate the attitude hold and use the uh, use that autopilot to climb up out of the atmosphere. Throttling back just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and activate the attitude hold. And use the number two key on the numpad to start pitching up to about 50 degrees. Throttling up at the same time as we climb up through the uh, denser part of the atmosphere. And once we get up to around 10 kilometers, I'm going to start pitching back down so we can uh, build up forward velocity to use those scram jets. Now, uh, I want to hit three on the keyboard to bring up our temperature display here. We'll be using that in just a bit. We can see our altitude is almost to 10 kilometers. We can slowly start nosing down. We can see our vertical speed right here. Uh, how fast our altitude is changing and the vertical acceleration is how fast our vertical speed is changing and a good climb rate when you're using your scramjets is probably between 120 to 150 meters a second or so so at this point like I said I'm just pitching back down and once we get to around Mach 3, Mach 4 is uh, when the scramjets can be used Okay, we just hit Mach 2, and I'm really bouncing back and forth between three things mainly during the launch. We want to be watching our vertical speed, altitude, the heat on the vehicle, and relative inclination. As we're uh, launching into orbit, this is counting down since we launched in the right heading, but we can fine tune it by yawing to the left and the right throughout the launch to try to get that as close to zero as we can. Okay, we just hit Mach 3 bringing the nose down trying to get the vertical speed down to like I said around 150 and uh, as we do we'll see the heat start to build up on the vehicle as we increase our speed and I'd say somewhere around 400 to 600 is a good heat range to uh, try and keep it throughout the climb anything over 800 you're probably getting too much drag so we we'll just hit uh, Mach 4 let's open the scram doors and uh, throttle back the main engines up go the scram engines and I'm gonna pitch down a little bit more here um, and get some more heat on the vehicle the scram jets will be more more effective if we stay down into uh, more of the atmosphere but uh, ultimately I'm usually around 75 kilometers altitude when I'm in orbit, when my engines are shut down. The air is so thin up there that uh, really, I mean, even at orbital velocities, there's certainly no plasma on the vehicle and the amount of drag is, is not much. So, As you see the heat build up on the vehicle here, you'll hear the scramjets start to work more efficiently. and uh, our relative inclination here is coming down okay the heat's getting up closer to 600 now so I'm gonna try and control it try and keep it close to there the faster I climb the uh, the slower the heat will build up and as you see I'm yawing more aggressively over to the left how quickly relative inclina inclination is starting to come down so that's good all in all, we're looking pretty good right now. We're at 50, uh, 52 kilometers. Okay, relative inclination hit zero. Now it's starting to come back up. So, well, we're just going to yaw the other direction, slow it down, and bring it back to zero, and try and find the sweet spot, try and keep it right there as close to zero as we can. Warning, scram fuel low. 
Okay, we're almost out of scram fuel. When that happens, we'll complete the orbit with the main engines. Warning, scram fuel depleted. Mach 20. Okay, closing the scram doors. Main engines full power. We're nearly in orbit now. So I'm just going to continue my climb. We're at 64 kilometers. By the time, like I said, we have engine shutdown, we're going to be between 70 and 75 kilometers. Still in the atmosphere, but um, so we'll shoot a little bit high for the APA on our orbit. We'll shoot a little bit high, expecting that uh, it'll drop just a little bit as we drag through the atmosphere up to that APA. At this time, I like to go ahead and pull up the orbit MFD and uh, let's hit uh, projection and distance to get our altitude right here and APA. Uh, I'm going to shoot for around 240 to 250 probably, 250 kilometers for the APA. And that's when we'll shut the engines down. And I'm not paying attention here, I need to get this inclination back down. Okay, here we go. Watching APA. When that hits 250, we're going to shut down. Shut down. Okay. All right, let's finish uh, or let's clean up our orbit here. Uh, first of all, we can turn off everything we don't need. And let's go ahead and deploy the radiator. That is a must do in the XR2. And uh, let's go ahead and open the bay doors. And we are still in the atmosphere a little bit. I'm going to turn prograde just to keep the uh, vessel settled while we drift up out of the atmosphere. We can go to the orbit HUD now. And let's advance the time a little bit. Turn the APU off. And around 150 kilometers, that's good. I'm going to switch up to the um, payload view. And let's... Uh, select the fuel there and deploy it deployed. and if you like Translation. you can translate down to expedite that process you can see it moving there so we can go ahead and uh, close the bay doors again okay now let me advance the time what we're gonna do you can see that we're going to hit the high part of our orbit right here before we get to the node to adjust our plane uh, getting relative inclination right on zero so let's do our prograde burn right here I'm going to advance the time you can see us moving towards our APA there okay let's go ahead and face prograde and let's burn till we get eccentricity uh, down to zero there That's good enough, really. Um, okay, and at this point, let's advance the time again and watch as we coast around to the descending node here. So we would want to burn um, this way with the attitude autopilot. If we were approaching the ascending node, we would burn with the anti-normal. So if that helps you remember it, ascending node, burn anti-normal. Um, so we are going to advance the time until we get there and get relative inclination right here on zero perfectly with the moon get a little bit closer and it's not going to take very much at all this right here is telling me how many seconds of thrust it's going to take and uh, this is the time to the node. Normally whenever the time is half of this value you would burn. So, And this would normally flash but it's so little it's not going to. So basically when time to node gets to one or zero I'm gonna burn and watch relative inclination come right down to zero here. Burning. That's it. That's all it took. I passed it. So, uh, I'm gonna translate back a little bit. And there we go, our plane is perfectly aligned. So we're ready to set up a trans-X plan to the moon.